Look at here on Storm 4 Max, but the majority of the rain has now moved down over Lake Michigan. This is round one, round two still on the way. Whitefish Bay down to Milwaukee, around West Dallas, back to Butler, where we still have some rain happening. We've got a new little cell that's popped up close to Aaron in Hartford, a ship in where we've got a little shower and around Waterford as well. Plymouth into Sheboygan down towards Port Washington. These are just very isolated rain showers, but we're still having a few cells starting to pop up. As you look back to the west well nothing's happening there but almost right overhead where we're expecting those renewed showers and thunderstorms to develop in the next couple of hours temperatures in the 70s plenty of humidity outside right now let's look at future forecasts this will walk us through tonight and you can see as we head towards six o'clock things still fairly quiet but by 7 7 30 showers developing thunderstorms get going as we head through this evening they stay with us 10, 11, midnight, still likely tracking showers and storms. Some of these could be strong to severe, and any of these will be capable of producing some very heavy rain. By 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, we may still be tracking some showers and storms. And so with that rain falling for hours and hours and hours, we could really see those totals piling up. Uh, anybody here could see one to three inches of rain. Likely not everyone sees one to three inches of rain, but wherever we get some training or where we have repeated rain falling over and over again, we could get some pretty efficient rainfall here. And that's why flooding, at least localized flooding or some urban flooding is a concern for us tonight. Along with strong winds, maybe some hail, even an isolated tornado threat, not out of the question. We're in that level two risk area from the Storm Prediction Center as we head through tonight. So some isolated severe storms and then look at tomorrow. Not much change. Most of us still in that level two risk area, so we could see some strong storms tomorrow. Future forecast. Tuesday morning, pretty quiet Tuesday afternoon, sunshine, heat and humidity ahead of more showers and thunderstorms. You see those taking off by five, six o'clock and then those showers and thunderstorms moving through here Tuesday evening into Tuesday night. So unfortunately, if you wanted to postpone tonight's plans to tomorrow night, tomorrow night not looking so good either will be hot and humid tomorrow. 80s near the lake, 90s uh, inland and especially farther south. Wednesday, Thursday, still the chance for some showers and storms, but it does look like we'll dry out for the upcoming weekend. More news still ahead. We'll be right back.